Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Professor Abdul Salam Yasin Taha from the College of Medicine, University of Sulaimani, giving a short uh, speech entitled "Right Minister Bronchus for Body with Subcutaneous Emphysema." The case: a six years old girl presented with shortness of breath and a repetitive cough one day after choking while playing. On examination, she was slightly dysnic with bouts of cough. The neck was slightly swollen. Palpation revealed mild subcutaneous emphysema. Chest x-ray showed mild subcutaneous emphysema and pneumomediastinum but neither visible foreign body nor pneumothorax. That was the photograph of the patient. That was the chest x-ray of the patient showing mild subcutaneous emphysema. She was admitted to Suleimania Teaching Hospital, Suleimania, Iraq, and given antibiotics and steroids. No significant improvement was achieved after 24 hours. Rigid bronchoscopy under anesthesia was then performed. A big plastic foreign body was seen in the right meniscus bronchus and extracted by a foreign body forceps. That was the plastic foreign body removed from the right bronchial tree. Comment. Subcutaneous emphysema occurs secondary to foreign body aspiration because of an excessive pressure gradient at the alveolar level, facilitating extra alveolar migration of air in the subcutaneous tissue. The foreign body works as a valve permitting air to enter but not to leave again. Increasing air pressure in the pulmonary alveoli causes their rupture and air escapes along the large pulmonary vessels to the mediastinum. From there, the emphysema extends to the chest, neck and head through the subcutaneous tissue. Subcutaneous emphysema and pneumomediastinum are rare presentations of aspirated foreign bodies reported only sporadically. A high, a high index of suspicion for tracheobronchial foreign bodies is required in atypical presentations of acute pediatric respiratory distress. While the presence of air in subcutaneous tissue or mediastinal tissue is not dangerous in itself, prompt recognition of the underlying cause is essential. There was a dramatic improvement in the clinical picture in this case after bronchoscopic removal of the foreign body without placement of chest tubes. This case and two more cases of foreign body aspiration and subcutaneous emphysema were previously reported in our article titled Subcutaneous Emphysema and Pneumomediastinum Due to Foreign Body Aspiration, a report of three cases. The article was published in Basra Journal of Surgery in 2011.